Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Drop the link or the name down below, and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Please keep doing that and keep engaging with our content. So today I'm going to be reacting to Ami Didat answer why not let God speak to us and we decide ourselves. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I'd just like to make a suggestion and ask for your comment on it because I think we could argue till we're blue in the face about the, the bad points of what people who are called Christians have done in the past and the bad things that people who call themselves Muslim have done. We could sort of go backwards and forwards like a tennis match with that sort of thing. Um, also, as, but, I mean, so that's, that's, to me, my suggestion is that you've got words in the Bible um, that you accept, like the prophecy that you attach to Muhammad, um, which is weird attached to the Holy Spirit, so another tennis match. No, it's the Holy Spirit, no, it's Muhammad. Um, and then um, you say about the major revisions being changed, but the Bible, I just want to ask your response to this. I'm not, I'm not a speaker, so it takes me a bit to... <laughs> right, so um, the, the Bible translators uh, use Greek manuscripts that go back to the second century. So another argument that surely you can't say is about that the Bible is revised since the King James in 1611 five times, so it can't be true anymore because the, the more that they revise it, this century they've found more manuscripts that go further back and they use these Greek manuscripts and compare it all like these boffins do. So the, the question is, um, how can you know um, what is the truth by, by this sort of arguing? Because the third caliph, apparently, from what I've read, also had influence on the compiling of the Quran. You know, sort of, he had a, a book, a Quran that had been um, his wife had had under the bed or something. Then there was other writings that were starting to get circulated, apparently. And the third caliph got it together and said, right, we've got to make a final Quran and decide what's going to be the, the true word. So, uh, surely, the only way that we can really know which is the true book is not to say, to, from our own background, well, I'm a Christian, so I'm going to say this, and you say, well, I'm a Muslim, so I'm going to believe this. Surely, it's to get both books, sit down with both of them, and to say, God, the true God, please speak to me read both of them and just ask God to show you. Surely that's the only way. I don't think we could argue to a blue in the face, but you know, I can say that I love you because Jesus put love in me. So that's the answer for the world. Um, and you could say this and that and the other, but surely what's your response to that? that? To sort of get both books and say, God, which is the truth, instead of sort of arguing that the Bible's been changed. You know, they've got second century manuscripts, you know, and the third caliph changed the Quran, you know. Maybe. No. <laughs> I'll finish that. So what, what's your response to that? Is, is that surely the only answer is to just pray instead of using all these arguments? Surely it's to just pray. I mean, what do you think of what? You see, you have been telling us in so many words that let us take these two books and start reading them both and allow God to tell you from heaven. So look, this is not the book of God, but this is. Not the Bible, but the Quran. And you will listen. You will listen to that God. If the God, you hear the voice from heaven telling you, He said, look, this Bible is not the book of God. This is according to Bernard Shaw, your great man, George Bernard Shaw. You know the playwright. He said, this is the most dangerous book on earth. He said, keep it under lock and key. Your children must not have access to it. That's what he said, George Bernard Shaw. The Plain Truth magazine. You know, a Christian magazine coming from America, seven to eight million a month free copies are being given out. They say that many a censor will give it an X rating. I don't want to go into all that. We went through all this on Sunday. But now, you know the guy who talks about God telling him? Marvin Gorman. You know the Marvin Gorman in America, televangelist? That is what he claimed. God talks to him. Marvin Gorman, Reverend Marvin Gorman, he was caught for adultery and he was defrocked by his church. Jim Becker, God speaks to him. Jimmy Swaggart in his works, if you ever read them, he says, God speaks to him, he says, my son, my son, and he's telling him what to do and what not to do. But 
this God Almighty didn't tell him not to go to a prostitute twice a week, twice a month. You know, and what he was doing there. So, the people who are talking about God talking to them, there's some type of sickness. They need psychiatrist. The guy who says, now God, because God doesn't talk like that. He doesn't come to you every Tom, Dick and Harry and tells him, say, not this book, but that book. If he was doing that, he would have done it to everybody. Everybody would have followed Christ or everybody would have followed Muhammad. God doesn't do that. He has given you intelligence. He has given you intelligence. And that intelligence you have to use. And what I was presenting to you, I said, look, here is a case. Jesus Christ makes a prophecy in which he says, there is somebody coming who will guide you into all truth. Now, you say that spirit of truth or the whole, is the Holy Ghost. That spirit is the Holy Ghost. So I said, now look, what new things did he teach in 2000 years? Which nobody is coming forward to give an answer. You have Christians here. This young man here, he takes this as an excuse for giving his card. He is a mission for Jesus. He wants to give you a card. I said, look, he was speechless, didn't have one question to ask. There's something wrong. With the Holy Ghost seems to desert people when they come to the mic to ask questions. What is happening? You have the spirit in you, but nobody asks questions. I said, look, the way is, the Quran says how to find out. This book confirms what is right in your book. And it corrects what is wrong. It corrects you. And it supplements things that you don't know, it supplements. This is the claim of this book. Now you analyze this book, you know the Bible already. Now read the Quran, is offering solution to your problem. Problem of alcohol. You haven't had it yet. In 2000 years with all your born again, 75 million born again Christians in America, you haven't got solution to your problems. If you want the answers, the problems, the solutions are here, open the book and read it. And if you are not prejudiced, not jaundiced spiritually, not jaundiced, you will be able to recognize the voice of God, your master's voice, God Almighty talking. Like Jesus told the Jews, he said the sheep and the goats, they hear the master's voice. How is it that you can't hear your master's voice, meaning God's voice, speaking through Jesus? How is it that you can't? You are prejudiced. The thing to do is remove those blinkers of prejudice, reach the book and listen whether this is not that spirit of truth that you are waiting for. Because otherwise, there is no hope. The sickness will develop, born again, born again, born again, but they never grow up. They are ever born again, little infants, nobody ever grows up. So my son, the way to do is, you don't wait for God Almighty to speak to you from heaven, because that department is closed. That department is closed, no more. You got to now, given the books, you judge for yourself. That is the answer. Imagine how life would have been easy if God actually told us this is the right thing. If he could speak to us and actually deliver that message himself and say this is the rule, the truth. This is not, this is what you follow, this is what you should not. But then that's not the case. I love how um, Didat says um, that's why we were given intelligence. The intelligence that we're supposed to use but many of us don't use. It's not all about sometimes we we grow up in spaces where they they believe in one thing and from that thing you don't want to open yourself up to other um information don't be that person your brain was meant to be used you know figure out things go out into the world read on whatever you have to read on and see what you can do with that information if it's going to change you, then let it change you. If it's not going to change you, there's no loss in reading something and it doesn't change you. But you get a better understanding of whatever it is. And um, I think it's a reasonable answer. And for that reason, I feel like the video actually speaks for itself. Otherwise, you know, you can't have everything handed to you. Go out there, research, do your own research. No one is holding you, no one is stopping you. Do your own research on your laptop, on your phone, on your whatever it is that you use to do your research. Do your research and see where that takes you and what you actually find out so that you can choose for yourself when you're old enough, when you feel like you've gotten enough information, you know. So yeah, that's that. Uh, let me know what you guys want me to react to and let me know what you guys actually think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video